YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy Keezy, back here again. It ain't easy being Keezy, we were about to start this thing off. Today's episode is about oversized hoodies and like the reason why I started to like want to change my wardrobe or even do this video for that matter is because I'm trying to like switch up what I wear because normally I just like wear a lot of black. <laughs> Almost everything black except my shoes. And I think I need to like change stuff up and like Maybe just the style overall. Um, I think oversized hoodies and the oversized look is dope. I don't really think that fashion trend out, out of the picture just yet. I think it's still going on right now. I do see a lot of like higher end fashion brands still doing the oversized look. So today I'm just gonna run through like some B-roll of like a couple different hoodies that I bought. I bought like an olive green hoodie, gray hoodie, and I also got a black hoodie, all either a size up or two sizes up. So without further ado, I'm just gonna run through some of this B-roll and let's just kind of talk about it as we go. Okay, and talking about these three hoodies that we got, I think one of the best things about doing oversized hoodie with skinny jeans and whatever sneaker or maybe even a hat, it's, it's very basic. It doesn't take a lot of money to do. In fact, it actually doesn't cost any extra money. Um, you might need to go buy a new garment, but if you were already gonna go out and buy a hoodie anyway, all you have to do is just do one size up and then you pretty much achieve the look. For the black hoodie, I got a double X. For the gray hoodie, I got an XL. And the reason why I got them in two different sizes is because when you have a black hoodie, depending on what you have on the bottom, if you have black skinny jeans on the bottom, that oversized one size up for the black hoodie is not really going to work. It's just gonna look like a normal black hoodie because once you have black clothes on, it just makes you more slender looking for whatever reason. Once you start going into the lighter colors, like, like the grays and the whites and the baby blues, you know, it stands out a lot more. So you might have to just get one size up instead of two sizes up. And that's what I went ahead and did with the gray hoodie. I only went a size up. The olive green, um, I did go one size up in that one too. I tried on the double X, but that was huge for me. And I think some of you on here might be saying like, wow, like two sizes up is way too much for me. But uh, it also depends on where you get the hoodie. If you purchase them from H&M, I think that they're typically a little, the sizing is a little bit wider than buying from Zara. When you buy from Zara, a lot of their clothes are a lot thinner. Don't get me wrong, H&M is very, most of their garments are extremely thin too, more in the slim department. But I think H&M is a lot wider than something like Zara is. If you're not like me, spending like 30 to $40 on a hoodie, on a blank hoodie, you know, there's there's many, many, many cheap alternatives. I mean, you can visit allstyle.com and you can try it out that way. I think those only come out to about maybe $12, $13. Gildan is also a very big one. I think at most, some of those are like $20. And at the least, I think some of those are even like $10 depending on what website that you go on. But with searching a price for a blank hoodie, especially online, is extremely, extremely easy. All you gotta just do is just go on Google, type in blank hoodie, and like a whole bunch of different, you know, brand names can pop up. You got your All Styles, your Gildans, Port & Company, Next Level, Anvil, Bella Canvas. I mean, you get my point. The, the list is, is endless, unreal. And if you can't go online and you don't have a card to order online, I recommend visit your local flea market. Your local flea market has a lot more blank clothes than you think, especially if you've never been before. But overall, I'm sure you understand where I'm coming from. I think the price itself is extremely, extremely cheap, especially compared to something like your high-end fashion brands like Off-White and stuff like that. I know I know Off-White does do a lot of oversized hoodies for men and women, but I think those are in like the six, $700 range. In this case, you are comparing it to something that's like $10 or maybe at most 30 bucks. Moving on into how I personally styled it. I used the denim that I did a DIY video, of, which I'll leave in either the link in the description or on the top comment, I will pin it myself, where I took a pair of uh, pants from H&M and or Zara and I ripped them up and kind of gave it that like fog effect. So since you're gonna wear some skinny jeans with it, I recommend to have either those rips in there to kind of give it a little bit of character. 
And then of course you can finish it off with either whatever type of sneaker that you like. And not to make it too long, last thing I want to mention one more time is that I'm, again, I'm, my, I myself am trying to change a little bit of what I wear and just spice it up a little bit more because I'm, I feel like even myself, I'm almost sick of wearing the same thing all the time. You know, I think since I work so much and then the time that I, I finally get to wear kind of really what I want to wear, it's always typically like the same thing. It's just maybe a new shoe. So I want to like switch it up and do some subtle differences that might be different than what I was already wearing, which is just wearing all black. Stop wearing all black. But anyways, ending this here, make sure you guys keep the lock right here for all your latest information from music, fashion, to culture. It is your boy, and I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs> Set up your Apple Pay, dude. Straight up.